<coughs> good afternoon all today we are going to discuss bjt bipolar junction transistor current component and current component what are the current flowing through the bipolar junction transistor when it is operated in active mode and corresponding current equation derivation right already we know that bjt operates in three modes one is active mode and second one is cut off mode and third one is saturation mode for analog applications like amplifier applications we use transistor operated in active mode okay and coming to the remaining two modes cut off and saturation these two modes are used in digital switch applications then how to connect transistor in active region right already you know that there are two junctions in bjt one junction is emitted to base junction and another junction is collected to base junction to operate the transistor in active mode connect the base to emitter junction such a way that this junction should be forward bias right vbe here base to emitter base terminal with respect to emitter okay that is positive base terminal is this is the base terminal and this is the emitter terminal and this is the collector terminal the base voltage is more positive than emitter voltage vbe here the first letter b indicates the base and second letter e indicates the emitter base to emitter voltage okay here the base voltage with reference to emitter that is the positive so then we can say that is in forward bias similarly vcb okay another one is vcb okay collector to base okay now this junction should be reverse bias here the base voltage this base voltage with respect to collector should be such way that in reverse bias less than so vbe greater than 1 vbc less than 1 now already we discussed in last class this uh, this junction is in forward bias so that majority carriers cross the junction here n type okay here emitter is heavily doped when emitter is heavily doped large number of electrons cross the junction here base is okay lightly doped and area of the base also very very thin compared to the number of charge carriers electron charge carriers is more compared to the whole carriers right few number of holes cross the junction that is base region into emitter region already we know that whenever the electron moving from this direction okay what is conventional current here conventional current is opposite to the electron direction right this is the current flowing okay conventional current is always opposite to the electron direction if the electron moving from left to right here the current is moving from right to left remember this one okay once it will enter into base region okay large number of electrons available in base region few electrons okay recombine with holes okay very very only 1% of uh, electrons recombine with holes that means the charge carriers are waste okay after recombination there is no interrupt okay few charge carriers are recombine with holes then again this junction is reverse bias junction right due to this large electric field and also the collector is connected to the i positive polarity okay all these electrons are move towards collector junction collected and travel towards the positive terminal of the collector okay now 
If the what is electron traveling here? Electron is traveling from emitter, emitter to the collector. Okay, large number of electrons traveling from emitter to the collector. At the base region, few electrons are recombined with holes. Only 1% of electrons recombined with holes at base region. Okay, this is the electron moment. Okay, what is the conventional current moment? Conventional current flowing from collector to emitter. So this is called the collector current. Collector to emitter, right? Okay. Now, here, we have to derive the expression for collector current, a base current, and emitter current. All right, we will discuss. Okay, once again, this is the moment of uh, electron moment here. This is electron from and moving from emitter region to base. In base, there is some recombination taking place, and again, large number of electrons shift towards the collector region okay and coming to the holes very few holes are cross the junction why because here base is lightly doped compared to the emitter and the number of charge carriers here holes is less okay this is about the uh, biasing conditions here base to emitter is forward bias base voltage is 0.8 emitter voltage is 0 volt this is forward bias Whereas base to collector junction here, this is collector terminal is 11, 1 volt. Here base one is only 0.8. So that is in reverse bias. Okay, already we know all this bias. Now here, forward bias and emitter base junction will cause current to flow. This current has two components. One is due to electrons injected from emitter to base. And second one is due to the holes, holes injected from base to emitter. But here the majority carrier, here the majority of the here in previous, okay, here the majority charge carriers are electrons only, right? Okay, current, of course, current conduction taking place both holes and electrons, but here the majority carriers are electrons only. Remember, here in the NPN transistor, NPN transistor the current flow due to electrons only now electrons are majority carriers remember this one in the entire npn transistor here the maximum current is due to electrons only 95 percent due to electrons five percent due to holes okay majority is the electrons so the maximum in npn transistor current due to electrons only Whereas in PNP opposite, right? Okay. Uh, the current has two components. One is due to electrons and second one is the holes. And coming to the emitter current. Emitter current is current which flows across emitter base junction, flow out of emitter lead. Okay, minority carriers in the P region. Once this emitter electrons are cross the junction, they treated as a minority carriers in the P region. Okay. Now let us summarize our thoughts in active mode. An NPN transistor carries a large number of electrons. Okay. An NPN, remember this one is important. An NPN bipolar transistor carries a large number of electrons from the emitter through the base to the collector. While drawing a small current of holes through the base terminal. Okay, 95% of current through the electrons from emitter to the collector via base. Only 5% of current through the holes at base region, right? Okay, how many? 40. So far, only 40 students are there. Okay. Now, this one is important. Now, we must now answer some several questions. Okay, based on our analysis so far, we must answer some questions. The first question is, 
how do electron travel through the base okay how an electrons travel through the base either this is a drift mechanism or diffusion mechanism already you know the the current flowing through the semiconductors due to drift method or diffusion method now here in this case electrons travel through the base whether it is a drift current or diffusion current that is the first question and second question is how does the resulting current depend on the terminal voltages okay after deriving the current now we have to find the relationship between current with respect to terminal voltages whether it depends upon the all terminal voltages or depends upon the only few terminal voltages like that and third one is how large is the base current okay what is the base current equation relations okay remember these three are the important right okay here the first one is what is the profile electron profile in base region whether the drift profile or diffusion profile and second one is resulting current either depends upon the terminal voltages or not it depends on terminal voltages okay what is the relation whether it depends on terminal uh, collector terminal or emitter terminal or base terminal voltage like that we have to derive the expression similarly base current what about base current okay of course base current is very small due to the holes and recombination of something like that okay what is the uh, relation between base and collector and emitter in a bipolar junction transistors right okay now here in this lecture most of the here the figures all these things are covered by the fundamentals of microelectronics by rajavi i follow the test book the test book is fundamentals of microelectronics by rajavi okay already uh, in while we deriving the bjt current equation also we follow the same test books so rajavi sir test book here in this case also i am following rajavi sir test book right okay it is observed that most diffusing electrons will reach boundary of collector base in depletion region and because of collector is more positive than base these electrons are shipped into the collector region okay this is collector region operation okay now we observe the carrier transport in base so this is the forward bias when forward bias means what happened okay due to diffusion procedure what is the diffusion here always in diffusion okay remember here in diffusion carriers are cross suppose here the consider the here in this area large number of carriers carrier concentration is high okay here in very low carrier concentration is very low by using diffusion process always carriers are travel from higher concentration to lower concentration remember here okay always here carriers whether the electrons or holes always travel from high concentration region to low concentration region okay observe here in this junction emitter base junction it is a forward bias it is a forward bias due to diffusion what happen means here in base region base material is p type material emitter is n plus and collector is n okay now here what is n plus n plus means here the superscript n plus here the n plus mean this is called the superscript this indicate that the doping level is very very high okay high doping concentration due to this what happen means electrons diffused into high concentration into low concentration similarly holes also diffuse into high concentration into low concentration here in n type majority carriers are electron in p type minority carriers are electrons so here this one is n plus high concentration of electrons here in p region low concentration of electrons due to this diffusion taking place due to diffusion majority carriers here the electrons will diffuse into p side 
So little holes will diffuse into N side. Now after diffusing in, now what happens means they reach the edge of the all this electron, try to reach the edge of the depletion region of collector to base junction. Right? Now this is the reverse bias, but due to the large electric field, all these electrons are shipped towards the collector terminals only. Right? Now due to this, uh, now when we draw the complete profile from base terminal edge to the collector terminal edge here, now what happens means this profile is approximately Okay, exponential. Okay, this is the exponential. When it will reaches the edge of the collector terminal, all these electrons are travel towards the collector terminal. So here there is no charge carriers at X2. Now observe here, this is the X is the distance. X is the distance at X is equal to X1. At X is equal to X1 is the maximum charge carriers at x is equal to x2 zero charge carriers of the rear this profile is exponential profile this is exponential profile here here the maximum is at x1 here the minimum is at x2 right this can be viewed in argentally okay Diffusion as the principal mechanism for the flow of electrons injected by the emitter. In fact, two observations directly lead to the necessity of diffusion. Consider the diagram for emitter base junction. We recognize that the density of electron at x is equal to x1 is very high. And second one is, since any electron arriving at x is equal to x2, is in swift away, the density of electron falls to zero at this point. Once again, observe here this figure. This figure is important, right? At x is equal to x1, then the density of electron is very high. Okay, here. At x is equal to x1, the density of electron is very high. At x is equal to x2, the density is almost zero. That means any electron arrive at this point X2, it simply jump to the collector. Due to the large electric field, all these electrons are shipped into the collector terminals, right? Positive plate of the collector terminal. That means coming to the carrier point of view, at X is equal to X, X1, maximum density, at X is equal to X2, zero density. Okay, this is observation. We recognize that the density of electrons at x is equal to x1 is very high. At x is equal to x2 falls to zero. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. The same profile here in our general view. Okay, uh, this is the emitter region, this is the base region, and this is the collector region. Okay, this is the depletion region of emitter base junction. It is a forward bias, this one. Okay, of course, either it is a forward bias or reverse bias, there is always a depletion region exists, right? The width of the depletion region is different. Here it is in forward bias, the width of the depletion region is small. If it is a reverse bias, width of the depletion region is large, right? Okay. Now, in base region, observe the profile, Okay, what this profile exponentially decreases. Okay, but ideal case it is a linear, but coming to the practical here exponentially decreases. Okay, this is due to the diffusion, right? <clears throat> okay, why like this means few carriers are recombined with also. Okay, NP here it is a recombination. What is here? First one is subscript is it is the type of material. The first letter indicates the air and indicates electrons, electrons in P-type. Why? Because here it is a base terminal is a P-type material, electron in P-type material. Okay, here remember N into P, electrons in P-type material, P into N. Here zero indicates are the equilibrium condition. Okay, anyway, 
okay uh, the mechanism here it is a diffusion mechanism right that is the answer first first question what type of current flowing whether the drift current or diffusion current okay here the majority majority is the diffusion current only okay, of course one percent drift also <clears throat> Okay, now coming three slides are related to the uh, PN junction uh, forward bias diffusion current derivation. Okay, before going to the collector current derivation, just we recall the previous uh, diode topics here. Okay, these are the concentration levels of uh, a diode here. PPE, whole concentration in P-type material. Here the minority carriers are electron, electron concentration in P type E indicates at equilibrium condition. Similarly, N, N, electron concentration in N type. P, N means whole concentration in N type. Why it is called here the poles are the minority carriers. This is the majority, this is the minority. This is the majority, this is the minority. Okay, already we uh, derived all these expressions from built-in potential or law of junction law, law of junction, right? PNE is equal to, what is PNE here? Minority carrier density, right? Holes in n-type material at equilibrium is equal to PPE, observe here, PNE, here this, uh, conjured this whole diffusion here for this one, we we'll try to write expression PNE is equal to minority carrier. PNE is equal to PPE by E power P naught by V. If it is in forward bias, same instead of E, F, F indicates the forward bias. This built in potential reduces by V naught by V F. Okay how uh, this law of junction is derived means okay v naught is equal to vt ln pp by pn okay all these are all the intermediate results while deriving the diffusion current in diode right v naught is equal to vt here the kt by q actually kt by q kt by q is equal to vt okay v naught is equal to vt ln na N D by N I square. If the P P is equal to N A, P N is equal to N I square by N D, then substitute. Now V naught is equal to built-in potential for this one. Already we derived this expression in diode related topics, right? <clears throat> okay, now from that uh, built-in potential, V naught is equal to V T L N P P E by P N E. From that E power V naught by V T is equal to P P E by P N E. Okay. From that P N E is equal to P P E by E power V naught by V T, where V naught is built-in potential. <coughs> okay, this is the part of uh, diode current equation derivation. Uh, this current is a diffusion current. Then diffusion density is equal to J P is equal to I P by A. Okay, current density is equal to current density is equal to IP by cross sectional area. Okay. This is also same. Change in old density, change in electron density. These are all the minority carriers. Now coming to the collector current. Okay, this is related to the transistor. Last three to four slides are related to the current equations in a diode. Not complete. It is a middle part of approximately few, only few equations here I'm giving, right? Okay. Now here we have to find the change of electrons from X1 to X2 here. X2 is equal to zero. Now here that is equal to same as here than previously, where NE by exponential v naught by vt e power vbe by vt minus 1. Okay, this is not nb by ni square, it is ni square by nd. Okay, ni square by nb. 
Okay. Then substitute. How we will get this expression means substitute the relation e power v naught by v t is equal to n e into n b by n i square. Whereas in diode, e power v naught by v t is equal to n a n d by n i square. Where a n a is equal to acceptor, n d is equal to donor concentration. Here n e is the doping levels of emitter. Suffix e represents the emitter doping level. Suffix b indicates the base doping level. Now we know that in diffusion mechanism, applying the law of diffusion. This is already we did. Right? Diffusion is equal to Q into diffusion constant dN into dN by dx. Okay, this one is dN by dx is change in electron concentration at the base profile. That is equal to zero minus delta of nx one by this is the width of the base region. Then substitute here. Okay, this is the junction here. Okay, already we know that uh, this is not uh, density density of uh, current density here. Electron, electron current density. Uh, the relation is what is the resulting current? Resulting current is the collector current. Collector current is equal to density of electrons by a, where a is the cross sectional area of emitter region. Right now we observe here. Now where W B is the width of the base region, multiplying this quantity with the emitter cross sectional area, then substituting delta n x one in equation four point five. Okay. Okay. This is n i square by n b e power v b by v t minus one. Okay. This is the change. Okay. Change the electron concentration at the base region here. Now this one substitute in diffusion equation. Okay, this one change in diffusion equation. Uh, substitute here A E Q uh -huh. into D N into N I square by N B by W B E power V B by V T minus one. Now, in analogy with the diode current equation, already we know that e power v b by v t. Okay, this expression, e power v b by v t exponential, is very much greater than one. This can be written as. Now, the resulting current I C is equal to I S into exponential v b by v t. Okay, here this entire this ratios. Okay, this one. A into Q into capital D into N I square by N B into W B. This will give us the reverse saturation current I S. This will give us reverse saturation current I S into E power V B by V T, where I S is equal to emitter area A E into Q into D N into N I square by N B into W B. Right? Okay. This entire this quantity is equal to. This is also Unit for this one is amperes. Okay, unit for this one is amperes or coulombs per second. That is equal to ampere. Now the resulting current is the reverse saturation current. Ah yes. Okay, this is the collector current equation. Equation four point nine implies that bipolar transistor indeed operates as a voltage controlled current source. Observe here. Voltage controlled current source. Why it is called voltage controlled current source? Observe the expression equation four point nine. Uh, left side is the current, right side is I S into E power V B. Okay, base to emitter voltage. That means here the collector current depends upon the V B, where V B is the input voltage, base to emitter voltage. Okay, that's why. Bipolar transistor operates as a voltage controlled current source, right? Providing a good candidate for amplification. Okay, sometimes BZT also called voltage to current conversion, right? And here the important note is in NPN transistor, electrons go from emitter to the collector. Thus, the conventional current. Thus, the conventional direction of current 
is from the collector to the emitter. This is important. Here in NPN transistor, electrons moving from emitter to the collector. This is electron direction. Whereas conventional current direction is opposite, collector to the emitter. Remember this one, right? This is the collector current equation. What is collector current equation? 4.9. IC is equal to IS into E power VBE by VT. This is the uh, answer for second question, right? Yet the collector terminal voltage mainly depends upon only VB. Here the VT is the thermal voltage. This is constant. This is also IS also constant, right? In this expression, how to find the dependency? Here IS is constant. Observe here. Okay, area is constant, Q value constant, diffusion constant, N I square constant, this doping levels all are also constant. So IS is constant. E power VT also constant. VT is the thermal voltage. Now this one IC depends upon VBE only. Okay, which terminal voltage is VBE? Collector current depends upon base to emitter voltage. Okay. Now here the important application of BJT is bipolar transistor as a current source, right? Okay, this is simple. Uh, bipolar junction transistor. Okay, here not shown uh, biasing voltages here. This is equivalent to represent this is symbol for current source. What is this symbol? This symbol is a current source. What is the expression? Collector current IC is equal to IS into exponential. Here the VBE is equal to V1. Base to emitter voltage here it is denoted as V1. V1 by VT. Okay, only one small condition here is if the collector to emitter voltage, okay, here this collector to emitter voltage greater than V1, then it act as a constant current source. Remember this one. Okay, we have to apply the uh, uh, collector voltage such a way that here, this collector to emitter voltage greater than V1. Okay, this is the necessary condition for operate diode in active region itself. Now, once VC greater than V1, then it act as a constant current. Observe here IC current. IC current is a constant. It depends upon only base to emitter voltage. Here base to emitter voltage is V1. If V1 is constant, this is fixed. Once V1 is fixed here, the current flowing through the transistor also fixed. Remember here, right? This is fixed, V1 is fixed, and current flowing through the transistor IC. What type of current here? Collector current. Collector current also fixed, that is constant. So that's why bipolar transistor act as a current source. What is the functionality of a current source? Current stored is a device which will provide a constant current throughout, right? Okay. Now coming to the base and emitter currents. What about base current and what about emitter currents, right? Now here, observe here. Okay, once again, uh, observe the figure here electron moment, this figure is the charge carriers, right? Okay, if the figure A is base current resulting from holes crossing the emitter, this is the base current due to holes. So this is the electron moving from emitter to collector region. While moving to emitter to collector region, few charge carriers are recombined. Okay, this area, few charge carriers are recombined. Okay, now we have the what type of uh, here the current here? Here the current is, base current is, okay, this is due to the holes, right? Okay, here the base current, only few electrons also uh, recombine in this one, right? Okay, let us see. Having determined the collector current, we now turn our attention to the base and emitter currents and their dependence in terminal 
voltages. Here in already we derived IC, collector current mainly depends upon the VBE. Now we have to derive the same here base current as well as emitter current and terminal voltage dependence. And another one is since bipolar transistor must satisfy Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, calculation of base current readily helps the emitter current as well. Okay. Okay. Observe here. Remember this figure. Uh, this figure B 4.1 to A and B. Okay, in NPN transistor, figure first figure, the base current IB results from the flow of holes. Okay, already I explained here. The base current IB result from the flow of holes. Okay, already we know that in NPN transistor, here the hole is a minority carrier. Complete here in NPN transistor, hole concentration is very small, only electron. Majority carriers are electron. Okay, of course, hole current also there, but that is small. Okay, IB results from the flow of holes. The number of holes entering from the base to the emitter is a constant fraction of the number of electrons traveling from emitter to the base. Some typical values for every for every 200 electrons injected by the emitter, one hole must be supplied by the base. Why? Because the emitter is heavily doped. Suppose it will supply 200 electrons base is ready to supply at least one hole. Okay, this is the uh, doping levels at the base and emitter regions. In practice, the base current contain an additional component of holes. As the electron injected by the emitter travel through the base, some, some electron may recombine with the holes. Now what happened means in essence, some electrons and holes are wasted as a result of recombination. Okay. Okay. Due to this recombination, here observe here, due to this recombination, some electrons and holes are wasted. Due to this, what happens? Electron, number of electron quantity reduces, hole quantity also reduces. Okay. Of course, here the number of electrons is very, very high. That is approximately equal to I only. But here, what about holes? Here the holes is less. Again, few number of holes are recombined with another wastage here, right? Again, it will further reduce the base current. For an example, an average out of every 200 electron injected by the emitter, one recombination with a hole. Okay. Now in summary, the base current must be supply holes for both reverse injection into the emitter and recombination with the electron traveling towards the collector. Okay, uh, the base current is small, but in general, how to write, there is a common, uh, in view IB is a constant fraction of IE or I constant fraction of IC. Now we have the important relation here it is, is IC is equal to Okay, IC is equal to, here it is a beta, beta times IB, where beta is called the current gain, where beta is called current gain of the transistor because it shows how much base current is amplified. Okay. Beta, beta is the amplification factor, it shows how much base current is amplified. Okay, a typically beta value depends upon 50 to 200. Okay, uh, in latest, uh, uh, this higher value may be increased to 450 also, 450 or 500. Okay, the current again, 500 also, right. Now, in order to determine the emitter current, we apply KCL to the transistor with, with the current in 4.1 to A. Observe here, this is the figure 4.1 to A. Now in this one, this is the whole current. This is the electron current. 
If this one is electron current, the conventional current is, this is the conventional current. Okay. I see current flows in this direction. IB current flows in this direction. Why? Because whole direction is the conventional current direction. Now, what about emitted terminal current here, IE? IE is the sum of apply KCL at this node, emitter node. What is incoming current here? One is incoming current due to holes. And second one is the conventional current due to electrons. This one is the IC. This one is the IB. Now we are apply KCL at this node, IE is equal to outgoing current is equal to incoming currents. That is equal to IB plus IC is equal to IE. So, so final expression and relation between three currents in a transistor is emitter current is equal to collector current plus phase current. Now take common IC, then that is equal to one plus one by beta. Now we summarize the total what we derived the expressions, current equations in this class. What is collector current? IC is equal to IS into E power VBE by VT. Right? Remember this. Already we derived this expression. Now, what is the relation here? IB. IB is equal to, observe here. What is IC is equal to beta times IB. From that, what is IB? IB is equal to IC by beta. IB is equal to IC by beta. Already IC is equal to IS. That means 1 by beta into IS exponential VB by VT. Okay. This is base current. Okay. If the base current also depends upon base to emitter voltage. Observe here. Why? Because IS is constant. Beta also constant. The base current, IB current, depends upon VBE. Next, coming to the IE. IE is equal to, what is here? The relation is current relation. IE is equal to IC into 1 plus 1 by beta. That is equal to beta plus 1 by beta. Why? Because we already derived the expression for IC. So whatever the current or emitter current or base current express in terms of only IC current only, right? Once again here, this is the IC current expression we derived. Now base current, what is the relation here? Observe 4.20 equation. From that, what is IB is equal to IC by beta. So already IC is there. So IC by beta, 1 by beta times IC. Okay, here this one is constant, this one also constant. So IB current mainly depends upon VBE. Okay, we have to derive the relation also. What is the terminal voltage relation to the corresponding current, right? IC depends on VBE, IB also depends upon VBE only. Next coming to the IE emitter. Okay, here the relation is IE is equal to IC plus IB. From that, take common IC, 1 plus 1 by beta, that is equal to IE is equal to beta plus 1 by beta, IS into E power B. So here IE, IE mainly depends upon VBE as well as also beta also, right? What is beta? Beta is the current gain. Now, observe here. It is sometimes useful to write IC is equal to beta by beta plus 1 into IE and denotes beta by beta plus 1 is equal to alpha. Okay, there is another current gain. Okay, later on we discuss in detail uh, uh, what is beta. Okay, here itself beta IC by IB. Here there is a word, uh, there is a letter alpha. This is also current gain. What is that current gain? IC by IE not IB. If I see by IB, that is a beta, that type of current gain is beta. There is a letter alpha. Alpha also current gain that is equal to I C by IE. I C by IE. For beta is equal to 100, then alpha value is equal to 0 0.99. So 
maximum value of alpha is equal to 1 only maximum right approximately okay here 0 0.99 that is the value then we can treat it as approximately 1 so what is this one ic by ie approximately equal to 1 that means what it indicates ic by ie approximately equal to 1 means we can neglect the base current base current is negligible when base current is negligible then only ic by ie is equal to 1 right ic approximately ie are reasonable approximations in this book we assume that the collector current and emitter currents are approximately equal right why because here observe here okay only here in this case only five percent of holes traveling here in this direction 95 percent current coming in this direction so ie apply kcl at this node this is the base current this is the collector current ie emitter current approximately equal to ic only right okay <clears throat> in solving sometimes of uh, some type of problems we may use ic approximately ie okay unless a specified particular values right okay this is about the current components in npn transistors and corresponding derivations right your derivations are important remember here what is current equation derivation here the current means in transistor current means collector current right because that is the output current collector current is the transistor current right okay generally collector current is the output current that is equal to is into e power vbe by vt where vt is the thermal voltage ib is equal to 1 by beta into is into e power vbe by beta ie is equal to and these are all the currents and their equations this equations also tells that how the current depends upon terminal voltages okay okay here the mainly it will depends upon the terminal voltages vbe only okay for this one it is also called right already we discussed the application what is the application here voltage controlled current source remember this one here the major application of bipolar junction transistor is major application of bipolar transistor is act as a current source it will act as a current source what type of current source here voltage controlled voltage controlled current source it is not a simple current source it is a voltage controlled if the voltage means base voltage base voltage controlled collector current right output current is collector current okay this is about uh, <clears throat> today class 